Hello YouTube, welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in to Let's Cook with Elle. So on this video, I'm showing you this delicious, five delicious recipes that you can make with your air fryer, guys. Air fryer recipes that I really love. So I hope you all enjoy these recipes and I hope you try at least one of them. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> So guys, for this pizza, this is what we're going to be using. I'm using pizza bread. I'm using two pizza bread because I'm making two different types of pizzas. I'll be using pepperoni, ham, scotch bonnet. <laughs> I'm going to be using some pineapple. I'll use uh, mozzarella cheese, grated cheese, and uh, I'll also be using tomato sauce. What you need to do before you you know start chopping everything is uh, prepare your air fryer so I'm gonna preheat it on 180 degrees for five minutes first thing we need to do is add your tomato sauce and then just spread it just like so like as you can see add in the cheese add in the pepperoni This is optional you guys what I'm gonna do here um, I like to add a bit of a scotch bonnet this is my personal preference I just like spicy things so I'm adding some scotch bonnet and then the next pizza we're gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna use any chili on this pizza so I'm just gonna cut my my ham And here you go, we have pineapple pizza and we have pepperoni pizza. I'm just going to add one in there. Turn it on, 180 degrees for 5 minutes, you guys. 5 minutes and it's done. Boom. After 5 minutes, we're going to add in the pineapple one. And then that is it, guys. 5 minutes and you're done. So you have a pepperoni pizza and pineapple pizza pineapple and ham pizza very easy to make and super quick you guys i'll highly recommend you to try this and if you have please let me know what you think of it and which one was your favorite let me know in the comment section below i made this recipe before but i fried it so we're gonna try it in the air fryer just to see how it will come out if it's still going to be juicy and succulent like the other recipe that i'll leave in the description box below so we're going to go ahead and season it i already cleaned it it's nice and clean and pat dry i'm going to season it with two seasoning cubes in there and then i'll just put a bit of salt just a little bit of oil it's a moisture you know <laughs> it's a moisture just to give it that nice, you know, looking cute. So we're just gonna leave this to marinate for about 20 minutes and we'll come back. In five minutes, warming up, I use my uh, frying oil just to make sure that I grease the, the base. I don't want it to stick, I'm just gonna put it in. Have you cooked any meat on the air fryer? Or what have you cooked on the air fryer before? Let me know in the comment section below because I really want to, you know, makes make more food with this air fryer but i'm just wondering what kind of food will cook well with it so far the pizza went well hopefully this meat goes well as well if you have any suggestions on other things i can cook with this air fryer then please let me know we're gonna leave it at 180 degrees and i'm just gonna leave it for about 10 minutes yeah just to check to see how it's going then if we need more time i'll turn it over and we can proceed so like I said this is an experiment just to be on the safe side yeah so here we go okay so after 10 minutes this is how it's looking so it's definitely not done right guys so it's been another 10 minutes so all together it's been 20 minutes let's have a look Let's have a look at it, what's happening. It's still looking juicy, nice and juicy. 
So let's have a look at the other side if it's cooked as well because that's important too. So I'm just going to turn it over. I don't think there's much time left. So we're going to put this back. 180 to 190 is always a safer uh, temperature to cook anything basically. So I'm going to put it back in for another 10 minutes. So here we go. I'm just going to be a bit cheeky. Just put it up a bit. 190 degrees here you go just for another 10 minutes remember all together it's going to be 30 minutes but do you check on it guys just just take a look at this look how juicy this is look how delicious this is this is actually the same result that i get when i fry it and this is just air fry look how amazing it looks it looks juicy it's not it's not dry i'm just gonna let you guys take a look at this to judge for yourself And you guys let me know what you think of this juicy pork belly you guys just let's take a look you be the judge man look at this wow. i can't believe this this is amazing isn't it mm -hmm. look at that chips yeah. potato chips okay we're gonna make this from scratch I've got my potato peeler here, so we're just going to go ahead and remove the skin. So here we go guys, I'm just going to wash it and then we're going to cut it into pieces. I've washed the potato, so we're just going to go ahead and cut into pieces, yeah? Chop it into chips pieces. Put it back in the bowl. So we're going to add in some water and i'm just gonna leave it to soak i cut it into like chip size you can cut it however you like so i soaked it uh, for like 20 minutes then i'm gonna season it with some salt then a bit of oil olive oil fried oil it's completely fine and the air fry is already hot like i said i made pork with it so i'm just gonna add it in just like so 20 minutes let me just for 15 minutes and then we'll see how we get on and then if we need more time i'm going to add more time this is after 20 minutes wow wow i can't believe this this is amazing isn't it mm -hmm. look at that chips yeah. from the thingy the fryer this is so good yeah because as you can see some of them kind of like didn't really you know turn but apart from that the majority everything else is fine and um it just it's just like normal chips and it's so much healthier as well you know so what i will say for those of you guys go to gym for your cheat day is better to have it like this than deep fried you guys just just have a look at this i'm actually impressed you know this is very good so i'm going to serve it with my pork uh slides so we're gonna call it a dinner so um yeah that is it your homemade chips so for the chicken rings i washed it cleaned it with lemon juice and putty dry so now i'm gonna season it here i've got i've got paprika powder I've got black pepper, salt, all-purpose seasoning, and onion salt. I'm just going to put it all in there. Just mix it all together. And then, what I'm going to do is add a bit of oil. You add olive oil, vegetable oil, just to make sure it's nice and juicy. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice, like about, about a teaspoon of lemon juice then keep mixing it all together then i'm going to cover it and leave it to marinate in the fridge for about an hour i might leave it for longer it depends on how i feel like i said the longer you leave it the better 
but an hour will do so um yeah leave it to marinate make sure that seasoning we put in there gets inside the meat yeah and not just on the outside also on the inside that is what we love make sure it's well seasoned so i'm gonna leave this to marinate and we'll be back so the chicken has been marinating for overnight basically it's been marinating for almost 24 hours so this is how it looks like out the fridge do you add any hot sauce of your choice this is what i'm using personally for me this is definitely not hot it's not hot at all i don't know who they tasted it with but this is not hot at all so i'm going to add pretty uh much like that yeah like i said it's not spicy at all um i've tried it before it's just not hot for me but add any hot sauce of your choice as you can see i'm just mixing it all in so it all gets in properly at the same time i'm gonna i'm going to preheat my uh, air fryer so that it's hot enough so once everything has mixed well together we can add it into the air fryer it has been warming up for five minutes so i'm gonna add some uh frying oil add it in as you can see make sure you give it some space as well so that they're not on each other's business you know so it cooks nicely so we're going to put this back in i'm going to time it for for 15 minutes like i said having it on 180 degrees is always the safest way to cook anything 180 190 pretty much so i'm going to do it for 10 minutes just to see what is happening and if we need more time i can do that so 10 minutes here we go guys with this what i'm going to do is add in some water so that we get all the juice you know get it all in there and we're gonna boil it for a bit so that kind of cook it in a way we're just making a sauce yeah so i'm just gonna put in the pot so that it can get a bit thick we're gonna cook it until it gets thicker so i had it for 10 minutes when i first put it in like you saw then after 10 minutes i um turned them over so the other side get cooked as well and then i had it for five minutes then reduced the heat yeah i reduced the heat to 120 degrees because i realized that it was getting brown too quickly i just hope that it's cooked well on the inside as well because it looks so good yeah and then i left it for another three minutes all together it's been cooking for 18 minutes yeah and that is it you guys doesn't it just look amazing we have to be cooked on the inside as well not pink nothing look at that <laughs> <sighs> I feel like crying. <laughs> this looks so good. It's fully cooked. 18 minutes, you know. The wings are done. So yeah, guys, let's move on to the next one. Cut your plantain to the size that you like, circle, shaped, um, any shape that you like. So this is how I like to cut mine. So I'm gonna season my plantain with some salt. At the same time, what you're doing while you're doing this, make sure the air fryer is warming up so you preheat it i'm just going to add a little bit of oil so that it's still juicy nicely moist juicy and it's not dry i'm just gobsmacked at how this air fryer is turning out like i i didn't expect this at all <laughs> i didn't expect it to be this good honestly you guys so this air fryer i just made wings with it just gonna add the plantain in as you can see okay put it in 180 degrees yeah and leave it for 10 minutes 180 degrees for 10 minutes look at this you guys air fried yeah air fried plantain can you imagine hey 50 minutes yeah done so much healthier and it's just juicy you don't need to waste too much oil this is done fried oh god i'm just taking the time to appreciate this plantain 
just just it just looks amazing guys just 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 look at it this is air fried you guys air fried i'm serving it with some corn and you guys don't forget the sauce that we made like i said um i boil it this is the consistency we've got thick consistency and we're just gonna pour it on top of that chicken so that is nice and juicy here you go doesn't it just look amazing <laughs> doesn't it just look amazing you guys thank you so much if you've watched this to the end thank you so much i appreciate your support i hope you try these recipes and um let me know what you think and please don't forget to like this video if you like it comment tell me which recipe was your favorite uh, subscribe if you haven't and i'll speak to you all on my next video